If I had to live the rest of my life in a movie, I would choose to live in Monty Python and search for the Holy Grail because that's what my killer rabbits love. I think I want to start in Batman. You would like to be the Three Stooges. I'd like to be in the movie Dirty Dancing so I could dance with Pat Patrick Swayze. And the, the Marvel comics so I could be Green Lantern. Okay. I want to be in um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. I want to be in The Little Mermaid. In the movie Roadhouse because we like to kick butt. I could live in a movie in a state. Leave the weapon because it's all gives to a major babe. Days of Thunder with Tom Cruise. Okay, the movie I'd like to be in the house is I get to star in it with Patrick Swayze. I figure it's a toss up between The Purple Rules of Cairo or uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I would love to be in any movie with Tom Cruise that involved a love team. Um, I'd be on, um, Cliff of Mall, Metallica. No, no, I changed my mind. I've decided any movie with Mel Gibson. I'd like to be in Top Gun because I could be with Tom Cruise and it would be very exciting. I'd have to say Flatliners because of Kevin Bacon. I think he's really cute. I want to be in Highlander. Bones Brigade 7. I'd be in Jaws 5 because I want to be eaten by a shark. Never four. Hey, I'd be on Cheech and Chong still smoking. Trying tongue twisters tend to tremble tremendously. Bangor's beaten badly by Brewers. Bodaciously. 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 Bodacious. Bodaciously. 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 Busting big boys. Sticks. They will beat them bad. Teachers trying tongue twisters tend to tremble tremendously. Tend to tremendously. 
but not me. I'm cool as a cucumber. Thank you very much. Bangor beaten badly by brewers. Oh, I can think of that. Bashing big boys' broomsticks. What is that word? I'm ready. Are you ready? One, two, three. Bangor's beaten badly by, by brewers. Bashing, bashing big, big boys' broomsticks. broomsticks. Back to you, Dale. Teachers trying tongue twisters tend to tremble tremendously. Bangor's beaten badly by brewers. Bodaciously bad boys' broomsticks. Teachers t trying tongue twisters tend to tremble trem tremendously. Don't hope they want a little. Bangles beaten badly by brewers. Bodaciously bashing. Broomsticks. Broomsticks. Big boys, broomsticks. Broomsticks. <laughs> tend to tremble tremendously. Teachers trying tongue twisters tend to tremble tremendously. And that's it. We're really going places. Okay, shut it off. Go home. Leave us alone. teacher in school, I'd pull one on Mr. Boyer, rat, as everybody fondly calls him, and I'd flatten the tires on the car. It would be on Mrs. Wood. It'd be Miss Bovin. I'd do it to Mr. Gavery, and I'd cut his pocket so he couldn't jingle his change. And then uh, while she sat down, I'd put a whoopee cushion under her seat so she'd make it sound like she... It'd be Mr. Steer, and I would change his voter registration from an arch covers conservative Republican to a bleeding heart liberal Democrat. Steal Mrs. Barnum's pencil that's tied to her desk. I would pull a prank on Mrs. Bovin. Uh, buy Mr. Boyer a rat trap. I would take all of my 7th period study hall kids and send them to the library and exceed my quota. I'd love to play a prank on uh, someone like Mr. O'Connell who thinks he's always Mr. Organized. Tammy would steal Mr. Button's vocabulary. I'd like to play a real mean prank on him. What could I do? Um, mine would be Mr. Fletcher, and what I'd do is I'd um, go in the office and burn all of his uh, discipline files. Yeah, I'd like to go in and mess up, uh, completely mess up his whole computer system, and all day he wouldn't have anything to teach. Ha, ha, ha.
welcome. You have partaken in an educational venture to go beyond the very boundaries of this institution. In the upcoming weeks, you'll gain an understanding of how to achieve undetected access to the supermarket in question. Before we begin, are there any questions? Anyone? Anyone? Okay. Okay. Um, it's going to be hard. I mean... <laughs> You'll have to overcome many obstacles on your trek, but with the intelligence that you stand to gain in this class, in addition to your own innate, you will succeed in your task. Your progress and efficiency will be charted and recorded by infiltration control in room 7. If there are no more questions, then we will begin. The first thing you will need to know is the proper manner in which to make your departure from the classroom in a discreet yet furtive fashion by requisitioning a hall pass. Should a hall pass not be available from your particular teacher, master the art of skillful forgery. Hall pass forgery is a very delicate art is recommended for only the most advanced infiltration students. After obtaining the necessary means of leaving the class, you must proceed cautiously through the corridors while evading the view of teachers and administrators. If you happen to get detained, display the hall pass to the authoritative figure. The suggested path to be taken is via Mr. Smith's room because he would never suspect through high students of unscrupulous behavior. Excuse me, lads. You guys have a pass, I assume, to be wandering off here somewhere, do you? Uh... <laughs> oh, yes. Right here, sir. Ah. Perhaps the greatest physical challenge to gaining access to the outside world is the athletic facility. Once you have passed through this gothic arena, you must traverse the frozen tunnel which separates you from your ultimate goal. They made it to death! Upon arrival at your destination, certain guidelines should be followed. Number one, no items over 25 pounds should be purchased or stolen. Two, make sure your purchases do not exceed the maximum amount of seven items. Time is of the essence. Three, avoid Jerry, relatives, undercover cops, and other customers at all costs. The return journey should prove uneventful. Possible complications and obstacles will dissipate rapidly by following the inverse path back to the educational institution at the precise tolling of the bell. At that point, you will integrate with the scholastic who are changing classes. Congratulations. Your unparalleled success in this mission graduate, graduates you with honors from Doug's Infiltration 101. Welcome. You have partaken in an educational venture to go to the very boundaries of this
Don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, wait, so these are on my body. Now that the war is over, what should be Saddam Hussein's punishment? I think we should send him to Fletcher's office. Lock him up in a real small room with a little tiny black and white TV and we can watch Matlock reruns until he dies. I think we should kill him. No, we should make him take Mr. Boyd to Mr. Class. I think he'd rather die. Yeah. <laughs> we think he should take AB chemistry. chemistry. Welcome to Brewer High Fashion. What's everybody wearing? Everything.
What made you decide to do this? Um, it was first year class fundraiser, and we thought it'd be kind of fun if all the students got together. I go for a lot of money. <laughs> all I can say is I better be bought. <laughs> I feel that no doubtedly the most important current world event would be the hostile takeover of Ames by Zaire. Of course it's Zaire by Ames. Persian Gulf doesn't look real good. They do not care for tires. How many billions of deficit we have all skim? The most important event is the world should have doubled. I feel the biggest thing today is education. Thank God. You tell the in the hole and then can Paris dunk Paris. I mean, let's put this for folks. I mean, Fire and present me. To the top back clock. At the end of baseball. Ah! We got the break just to break it today. We don't want to play. Duke has won its first national championship. A unified Germany. Luckily resigned. Dad, I'm not getting racy. I've been racy. Not guilty of obscenity. I will welcome cold investigation. Saddam is making the mistake of his life. They are hostages, and the whole world knows we it. We want peace! Just two hours ago, Allied Air Forces began an attack. Scots come again. Everybody in it is either wounded or dead. We were the thunder and lightning of desert storm. It's either them or me. Aggression is defeated. The war is over. Bye. <laughs> Peace, Riyadh. Goodbye. 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 I want to say goodbye to Kuala High. I want to go to New York. See you later. Bye. Bye. Give a farewell to the administration and everyone who has worked here because you guys have been great. Hope us at the and you have the bra and you all have the goodbye to this little school. I'll never have a show here ever again. Bye. It's been a night nice four years and it comes a time in everybody's life when you have to move on. Bye, 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 Hi. I'm not gonna miss you. Goodbye. Good luck. I'll see you when I'm an FBI agent. I'll just say goodbye. I'm on my way back. I can't wait to get out of here. Talk to everyone bum, bottom, and bum, see you at class bum, reunion. Bum, goodbye. Bye, bro. Hi, well, I'm to go. Bum, bottom, goodbye. Bum, bottom, Hasta luego. Ciao. Well, Riva de Verci. See you later. You so. See you soon. Bum, bottom, class bum, reunion, maybe. Thanks. You. But I really must say goodbye, bro. Hi, goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs> goodbye. See ya. Bye. <laughs> what do you say goodbye to, Jimmy? Oh, I'd like to say Mr. Mr. Pera and Mr. Kaiser. This is Jordan. Goodbye. Bye. I'm out of here. And goodbye. See ya.
Yeah, thank God. See ya. to leave.